So it is July of 2023 here, and of course, the most common question I get asked consistently through the year as people are thinking about moving over to Seattle or maybe just thinking about buying a home in this area, if you already live here, is what's the real estate market like? What's going on in the market? What should I know before I buy a home? So in this video, I'm gonna talk about just the most recent updates in the Seattle real estate market, what's been happening over the last month compared to months and years previous to give you an idea of where we're at and where we may be going. As always, I'm Bryce Greenleaf, local real estate agent here in the greater Seattle area. So if you already live over here or you're moving over here and you're planning to purchase a home in this area, feel free to reach out, would be more than happy to help you. But the last you know, few years of real estate have been really tumultuous in not in just the Seattle area, but nationally. There's been a lot of changes specifically in the last year as interest rates started to go up and the market actually started to slow down a little bit from what we had previously seen for those two years when everything was just going bananas. Now we can see here mortgage rates here. This is a good resource for you to use to kind of track rates a little bit. Of course, your rate is not gonna be the exact rate that you see here. Things change based on uh, your loan program, your down payment, your credit score, all sorts of things depend on what actual interest rate you get. But monitoring this gives you a good idea of the trend that rates are moving. And you can see here that rates are up over 7% again. So they have been going up a little bit as of late. Now you may think, hey, because rates are going up, that means homes are, are the, the prices of, of homes are going down and I can get something for cheaper than I may have been able to before. Unfortunately, that is not the case. And there are a number of reasons why the market is still, I wanna say quote unquote hot. Now there are different ways you can interpret a hot market, um, but you're not getting homes for a huge discount right now just because rates are getting a bit higher. So let's jump into some of the stats to show us what's been happening in the market and then we can interpret these and figure out what we may think will happen for the rest of this year. All right, so let's look at residential homes here for the first category, and we're gonna look at both King and Snohomish County. So you can see the median home prices in King County here, 935,000 just this last month in June. That was up from about 910,000 in May. Now you can see on this graph that we've really had an upward trend of prices since January. And we talked previously on other videos of how it looked like we really hit the floor of those prices. When prices started to drop last year in 2022, it looked like we had hit the floor in January of 2023 of those prices and they've only gone up since. That trend has continued over this last month, two months, three months, and, and prices continue to rise. Now, 12 months ago, prices were about 940,000 here uh, in King County. So you see that we're really starting to get back to where that peak pricing was uh, before the market started to drop off a little bit. Really springtime of 2022 is where we saw that peak pricing and we are starting to approach that point again and make up for any of the losses in, in home values that we had over the last 12 months. You can see a similar trend here for Snohomish County, a little bit more mild. Median home prices in June of 2023 here, 775,000. You can actually see on the graph here, they went down a little bit, 5,000. They were 780,000 in May. So this is a little bit surprising now, just one month. Um, in one specific county. It's not enough to say, hey, prices are dropping, sky is falling, anything like that. As we saw in King County, prices continue to go up. Could be just a little bit of a blip for this month. So we'll, we'll kind of keep monitoring this and see what happens next month. Um, but we basically just kind of stayed consistent with those values over the last two months. And again, here in Snohomish County, you can see those prices started to rise in about January, February after hitting the floor. And again, like King County, approaching those peak values that we saw in spring of 2022. All right, the next stat that I wanna look at here, really I've got three stats that show us 
everything that we need to know about the market. That's median price that we just went over. Uh, the second one is time on market or months of inventory. And the third one is new listings, new inventory. So let's look at stat number two. This is months of inventory. So what this tells us is if no new homes came on the market, how long will it take us to sell out of our current inventory? This gives us an idea of how fast homes are moving and gives us an idea if, if it's a strong seller's market, a strong buyer's market, or a balanced market. Now, over the last you know few years, multiple years, five years, it's really been a strong seller's market. There hasn't been a ton of length when it comes to the months of inventory. So looking at the King County graph here, you can see this is still staying consistent. We do not have much inventory when it comes to the length in the months of inventory. Right now it's at, at about 1.2 months. Last month it was at about 1.1 months. So stayed pretty consistent there. And then about 12 months ago, we started to, that's when, you know, we started to climb with those, that months of inventory and things were starting to sit a little bit longer when rates did go up, prices started to drop. So we started to approach two months of inventory. Um, but you know, that's still not extreme. Uh, that was still a, a good solid market for sellers to be able to sell their home in historically speaking. But as we're going here and approaching the one month mark again, that just shows that homes, despite interest rates, they are not sitting on the market. Very, very similar trend here for Snohomish County, 1.1 months of inventory currently up from 0.9 last month and then up from 1.9 really when it started to hit that, that top end last year. All right, so let's look at the number of new listings. This gives us an idea of the trend of inventory and can explain some of what's going on in the market. So this is one that's really important to look at. So you can see King County here last month for residential homes, there was about 2,500 new listings that hit the market, which was about 150 more than last month in May of 2023. So that's a good sign that we're seeing a bit more inventory come on the market. And that's, you know, typical, typical seasonality and what happens in the market as we are, you know, spring through summertime the, the most amount of inventory you're gonna get but that is encouraging that we're seeing a little bit more this month than we did last month we're gonna of course hope that trend continues we shall see now 12 months ago at this time it was over 3,000 new listings about 3,100 new listings hit the market in in June May of 2022 so we are still not where our inventory should be and even then even last year June and and May when we were at about 3,100, that was still low inventory. We were still having uh, inventory issues then. Now the rates were a bit lower, um, but that was still an issue. So we, you know, our inventory, even though we're seeing 2,500 new listings here in King County this month, that is still really, really low. And that's part of our big issue of why the days on market are not going up and, and why homes still are not sitting on the market despite of rates is because we do not have enough inventory. Similar trend here for Snohomish County, you can see we had about a thousand new listings hit the market um, this, this past month, June of 2023. And you can see on the graph here, it went up from the previous month just a little bit as well. So that's a good trend to see. Trend line going up is what we want for those new listings. Uh, and again, you can see about 12 months ago, that was really at about 1,400 new listings hitting the market per month. So again, we are down from where we should be, down from where we were last year. So same thing in Snohomish County, this is causing an issue with buyers being able to have many options. Despite rates, there's still two, three, four offers on homes sometimes five or six offers on homes because there just are not enough options. There are more buyers, of course, than there is supply, more demand than there is supply here. So it's it's still causing homes to be sold for over list price uh, instead of going under list price because of those rates. So uh, just be prepared for that. If you're a buyer entering the market, I'm not saying it's a bad time to buy at all. It's, it's not like it was in 2020, 2021, where homes were going, 10 to 20 offers in the first week, anywhere from 10% to 25% over asking price. It's not as extreme as it was back then, but it is a strong market still for sellers and there is still competition in the marketplace. Now I've had multiple 
multiple buyers, get into places, and, and we were the only offer, or we were one of two offers. So that is certainly still a possibility. So don't let it completely discourage you from being, being able to buy a place, but some of the cream of the crop homes are gonna get a number of offers and are gonna get bid up a good amount over list price. So just be aware of what's going on right now. And again, that driving factor is just the low inventory. And we look, when we look at projections for that inventory, what we think could happen here down the road, it's tough to see that inventory number improving, which is why we're, we've been saying, and you've probably heard despite rates, there's no foreseeable you know, forecast where home prices are gonna drop or drop severely. There's no market crash coming this year at least, or probably not even next year, maybe not in the near future at all. Because that inventory number is so low, it's simple supply versus demand. When you have, far less supply than you do demand, there's no way the market's gonna crash, price is gonna go down, prices will only continue to go up despite interest rates. And we don't see inventory going up and that number improving because of interest rates, because all of these people that own these homes, everybody refinanced when rates were 3%. So everybody's got a 3% rate on their house and now rates are 7% and they don't wanna sell and have to go from a 3% to a 7% rate. So they're staying put until rates improve. So this trend is gonna, I think, continue as long as rates are where they are. In fact, as we get past the peak season here and the, the typical waves of real estate through the year, as we get into to, to the fall time and winter time, that inventory number will just go down. We're getting to the peak of where inventory is gonna be. July, August, we should see some good numbers in these two months, um, but then inventory will probably start falling off. Again, there's gonna be a decent amount of buyers in the buyer pool still, so demand is gonna be higher than supply. I would say it's, it's fair to guess that prices are not gonna go down. Um, They'll probably go up a little bit. Maybe they start to, to flatten off a little bit if the demand drops off in the second half of the year um, as we get into that fall and, and winter time and holidays and all that kind of stuff. We'll see what happens. Um, but I don't expect, just because of the supply, I would not expect any drop off in prices here for the rest of the year. So let's check back on this next month, see what happens and if these trends are continuing in the same direction. Thanks for watching this one. And like I said, I'm an active real estate agent here in the greater Seattle area. So if you're planning to buy a home over here and need some help with that process, feel free to let me know. Would be happy to help out.